guys, welcome back. Today's video is gonna be a request that I got from Luxie Rose. She left me a comment asking me to do my favorite products that don't get as much hype as they deserve. And I love that idea. I have a lot of stuff at the drugstore that I feel a lot of people don't talk about. So I put together stuff in my collection and I'm going to share them with you all. So all stuff from the drugstore, all really affordable. And I'm not saying I'm the first and only one to talk about these things. I'm sure a lot of you guys might even already use these in your everyday routine or have them, but these are just things that I don't feel are talked about very often, so it might be some new stuff for you to hear about. I hope you guys like it, and let's get started. So I'm going to get these two out of the way because if you watch my videos, you're probably familiar or see me use these. And these are both by NYX and these are little powders. So the first one is the NYX HD Finishing Powder. I'm starting to see more people talk about this. I am so happy because this is such an amazing powder, especially for underneath your eyes as like a setting powder. It is a banana powder, but it's very, very light. So if you are very fair, I think you might like this one because you can get away with using that. Another one is the color correcting powder, which I have used this in so many of my videos. This is the banana one. I personally like this more than the Bin Nye banana powder. I think it looks better with my skin tone because the banana powder from Bin Nye is super, super yellow. It almost doesn't work very well with my skin tone. So I think also those of you with more lighter skin tones, you might end up liking this. And I use this to kind of like bake my under eye area and I really, really love this stuff. I've gone through like three of these and like four of these. I have a couple bronzers and this one is by NYX and I used this in one of my tutorials not that long ago. I had this sitting in my collection and I just never reached for it until now. And this is their matte bronzer in medium. Now when you first look at this, you're going to think this is very, very warm, very orangey looking, but it's actually not. It actually gives such a nice warmth to your skin without being too orangey. So if you're on my skin tone, I think you might actually really like this. I think that's what scared me off from using it for so long because the way it looks in the pan. But actually if you were to use it just like with a large fluffy brush, it gives such a nice finish to your skin. It's not patchy. It just blends out so nicely. So I thought I would mention that one. Another one, which is the one I used today, and this is by Wet n Wild, and this is Bear in Mind. It says limited edition, so hopefully you guys can still get your hands on it. They have other ones from Wet n Wild, like in the same packaging, but this one is a matte bronzer. Some of the other ones that they have that are part of their permanent collection have a little bit of shimmer to them. So it's a nice bronzer, but this one's really nice because it's matte and it doesn't have any shimmer in it and it's super, super creamy. Like when you feel this powder, it just feels so smooth. It's not too dark, but it is going to add some warmth to your skin. So I really like this. I would highly recommend it. I found mine at Walgreens and this one is in Bare In Mind. You need this stuff. Now I feel like I've heard people talk about this maybe in the past, but maybe it kind of got forgotten or I don't see it mentioned very often and this is by Maybelline and this is their master highlight by face studio highlighting blush now I'm not super into blushes I don't own a ton of blushes so this is the one I use for such a long time because it's just a very neutral everyday blush and I think even if you are like a darker skin tone you could get away with using this as a highlight so it just adds such a nice glow to your cheeks it's very very natural looking so that's why I like it it's just one of those blushes you don't have to think about you can just slap it on it's going to go with any look so that is it for face products now moving on to eyeshadows i got these from jcat beauty and they are the triple crown baked shadows well i personally hadn't seen anybody talk about them until i saw them in ulta so Luckily they had testers and I tried them out in store and I was just completely blown away at how pigmented these shadows are. Like seriously, they are so affordable and they are some of the most shimmery pigmented shadows I've ever found at the drugstore. So you guys gotta try these. So I just have two of them. They have other ones as well, but these are the two more neutral ones. And like I said, I am just so in love with these shadows. I haven't used them wet and I'm sure they are even more amazing. But even just dry, they are so, so pigmented. These are by the Ulta brand and they are glitter eye top coats. I used to use this one all the time in tutorials and on my channel. And this is in the color Fairy Princess. 
So these are not really necessarily shadows you would wear on their own since they are top coats. They're really good for layering on top of shadows. And Fairy Princess is one of my favorites because it's just a very shimmery kind of pink. It's really nice in the holidays, I find. This is my favorite. I have two other ones as well. I have Gold Digger. That is it right there. So you could probably get away with using this as a shadow on its own. And I also have Bronze Blanc. Bronze Bombshell. You could probably just wear these by themselves all over the lid, but Fairy Princess is definitely best layered on top of other shadows. I thought I'd mention these because I never hear anybody talk about them. You will see some fallout, but if you use like a primer or layer them on top of like a cream shadow, it, you shouldn't run into too many issues. So. I feel like a lot of people know about these, but I recently got them. I didn't know how amazing they were, so I thought I would throw them in there in case you hadn't tried them out as well. And they're the e.l.f. smudge pots. I have two right now. I think I'm going to go back and get a couple more. I have this one, which is an Ain't That Sweet, which is this kind of like light pearly pink shade and then I just got this one and this is called brownie points and it's just this nice kind of bronzy coppery shade which I really want to do a tutorial using this one because I think it would look so pretty all over the lid so let me know if you guys want to see that I'm definitely thinking about doing more like one brand tutorials and I'm thinking I might do elf or NYX. Let me know if you guys want to see one brand tutorials. These two I've really been liking and they are just super, super pigmented. And I've had this one ain't that sweet for a while now and it hasn't dried out. My Maybelline, they're the color tattoos. I've had those just as long and those have completely dried out. Let me know if you guys have run into that issue as well. I know a ton of people love the color tattoos. But mine are almost completely dried out and I feel like I haven't even had them for that long. They are way cheaper than the color tattoos. Either a dollar or three dollars. Also from e.l.f. I have these long lasting lustrous eyeshadows. I did a tutorial on one or it was a get ready with me on this one in the color Toast. And it's just this nice gold shade and I love the shadow. This is like my everyday shadow when I'm lazy. I just apply this all over my lid. I don't even use a primer with it and it doesn't crease. It lasts all day long but these are just so easy and they're so pigmented they're all pretty shimmery so if you like that shimmer i think you're really gonna like these i have a few others but the names aren't on most of them i have this one in gala which is a nice kind of bronzy shade this deep purple doesn't have the name i have this kind of cool tone gray color which is really pretty as well and this more kind of rosy pink shade. These are only about three bucks as well from e.l.f. and they are some of my favorites. I just got these and I am completely in love with them and I don't know what took me so long. I think just the idea. They are roll-on shimmers from NYX and I used to use roll-on shadows when I was like in middle school when I was first getting into makeup and I think just seeing these I thought they were just going to be not very good because they all are so 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 shimmery and I got mine at Ulta I think they're like three or four bucks so I have salmon which is super super shimmery it's a very light pink color I also got almond walnut and nude like I said you guys you gotta try these especially layered over on top of shadows or some type of base I think it's just going to look so, so nice over the lid. I used them in one of my recent tutorials. I will have that linked around here or listed down below for you to go check out if you want to see them in action. But hands down, you guys got to go check these out. If you were turned off by the whole roll-on shadow thing, no. These are seriously good and they're super cheap. These came out a while back and I got this first one, which is, what's it called? Topaz Twinkle and I was just like in love. So I went back and got three more. I think they have a lot more shades, but I ignored these for so long because I thought these were the nail polishes because Revlon has nail polishes that are in the same packaging. But these are actually a cream shadow with like a glitter liner or like a glitter top coat. Seriously, these cream shadows are so metallic and like foiled looking on your lid. I am in love with these. So I have Topaz Twinkle and I love the glitter on this. I think it's very similar. I haven't compared the two because I don't own it, but I think it's very similar to Midnight Cowboy, that glitter liner from Urban Decay. It looks really similar to that. And this one is in Peach Prism and it's kind of like this lighter pink. It's kind of this duochrome glitter. It looks more peach, but it has reflects of like gold. This one in Burnished Bling, it's more of a coppery 
shadow with more of like a coppery glitter with kind of gold glitter in there as well. I haven't actually used this one yet, but it's super pigmented. And this is green glimmer, but this is definitely more of like a bluish, almost like a mermaid-like shadow. This glitter here is, it has different shades of green and blue glitters throughout it as well. So I love these. I don't hear a lot of people talk about them. They are so, so pigmented and I love the little glitter liners that come with it. Now I love Jordana lip liners and so when I was checking out at Walgreens maybe about a couple weeks ago I decided to pick up a couple of the Jordana eyeliners and try them out and I saw these because I wanted some different colored liners so I got this one in eggplant which is I don't know if you can tell probably not but it's what I have on my lower lash line and it's a really pretty deep plum shade so I like this um, I feel like it definitely helps my brown eyes pop so I like using this with different looks and I also picked up brown which is a nice rich brown like it's not super dark to where it looks black it's just a nice medium rich brown these they're kind of like the mechanical pencils they're not the ones you sharpen so they're really really creamy and I don't I mean, to be honest, they're not gonna last all day long in your waterline, but if you set them with a shadow or just smoke it out on your lower lash line, you would find that they last, you know, for most of the day without smudging or anything like that. But I really like these and they're super cheap, like two or three dollars. So that is all I have for today. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you like any of these products or any products that you think I should know about because I'm always at the drugstore looking for new things. I would love to know if you guys have any hidden gems at the drugstore that you think I should pick up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also if you have any requests for any future videos, let me know because I always keep them in mind when I am filming and yeah I'm just gonna go now and stop rambling so um, thank you guys so much for watching and bye